Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're looking for a way to keep your user engaged with the app or website, then you are at the right place. Today, I'm going to show you how to use OneSignal, a powerful push notification service to create and manage your push notification campaign like a pro. I've spent the last week testing every feature, comparing it with other platform and running a bunch of different campaigns. After all that, I can confidently say that OneSignal is one of the best tool for engaging user with push notification. Before we get into all details, let me show you some of the impressive features that blew my mind. Right, so before moving to the set up our account, let's go and first of all check out the pricing because that is going to play a really important role here. So we have the free version, you can see 10,000 uh, per month free email sends, unlimited mobile push, uh, push sends here, general workflow. A GDPR compliant A-B testing and as you can see here all free features as well as there are some of the extra features and all features of growth plus there's a professional you can pause the video or you can see here this is how push notification look like so they are using by themselves too right and here you can see comprehensive features breakdown you can visit their website or you can pause the video and check out each and everything now let's go and click on get started now on the top right side corner by the way, if you want to go for the enterprise, you can talk to them. I will use my Google account for now to make an account. Now here you have to select any one of the plans. I will use the free plan right now. Now tell us about you. So let's say I will just enter my name here. Rono, which category best describe your role? So I'm in the marketing, right? And drive visit. So what's my primary goal by using one single? Let's say I will select each and everything here, right? And which channel do you plan? I use each and every channel for my company, right? Depending upon, uh, in your case, you can choose whatever it is for you. Now click on continue once you have selected each and everything. Now create your first organization. So I will just enter my company name here and the website. Right now, this is how you can do so. And I don't have a website. If you don't have a website, that's fine. You can select this pin, right? Which industry best describe your company? So it's an e-commerce retail company. And what's the company size? So it is going to be one to nine employees. And then you have to just go and click on continue. Right now, name of your application or website. So I will just write here, Filex Express. That's the application name. You can choose any, any one of your name, which really suits or if you have a good name then obviously you can use it right now welcome here's your quick uh, start guide here so before we start sending our notification you will need to add your app or website right to one signal if you're using a mobile app you can integrate one signal with ios or android by using their sdk for websites they have got simple integration process by using a javascript code snippet that you will add to the site once the setup so first of all let's go and click on get setup right now here this is a push and in app this is for the email and this is for the sms so let's we will just use for the email uh, sorry push notification for the application and uh, whether it's a chrome extension whether it's a windows application right so we have option for each and everything if it is a website then just go and select web and if you have a google uh, android application then you can select here android or for the ios for the application this is for the laptop or you know in system application so let's set here website and need help so you can invite your team member if you are the not the main guy or if you want to add your team member you can just go and click on invite now let's go and click on continue so here this is the typical site or if you're using a wordpress and you can use a wordpress option here if you have a custom code so you can use a custom code if you have a shopify then you can use this one right so this is a site name so you have to enter your site name here so let's say i'll just write here filex express right site url so as you can see here enter your full site url as shown when visiting within the browser including the https right from where you can get it so if you see a uh, users www then you must include in it and you have 100 subscribers or more you will not be allowed to add or remove www dot later to prevent double subscription right make sure you read this and you can also check out this by the way they just want a normal url and from where you can get it let me show you for example let's say i will just go to www.google.com right 
and this is a website so let me just put it over your screen right so this is it so once I double click on it copy each and everything right click on it or press ctrl plus c on your keyboard right and then here you can just paste it so make sure https uh, you know column and uh, slash slash should be included auto resubscribe this option make sure you upload it default icon url so make sure you upload an image of your icon so what is the icon let me again show you let's go back to the google here right and this is icon right this is icon and obviously in the notification icon will come up here right and you have to upload an image now this is here it comes here you know permission prompt setup so setup prompt to ask for push permission so if i just go and click on push prompt here right now this is a subscription bill for example this is how it's look subscribe to push notification or this is a native prompt which you will get it from here so this is showing that how it's look right so for example this is i want this one so i will select here native prompt here or for example if you want to add your custom link so you can also add it right and this is how it's look the page view show after on the first page or show after one second or uh, first page view and after 20 seconds or 30 seconds so this is completely up to you and uh, this is how it shows that to the person to the viewer to the visitor who have never subscribed to you right and let's say i want to see in how it's look like in the firefox web browser so this is how it's look and if i just want to check out that how it's look in the safari right so this is how it's look in the safari right and uh, the first one was regarding the chrome so this is how it's look in a chrome now once i've selected this is you can just go and click on ok now we have added here and as you can see here if you are using a mobile application or if a visitor is using your website on mobile this is how they got the notification right so here I can just go and change it. For example, oh, oh ho, let's say arigato. I can just write it, whatever it is here, and it will show you. I'm just showing you to you guys so that it's an example, right? And here, thanks for subscribing, right? And you can just write over, write whatever a good message you like to show your audience. Now, open link when clicking welcome uh, notification. So, for example, if some visitor go and click on on here, right? Or uh, let's say they, they are using a Windows, and if somebody click on here, right, which you get notification here, where it will redirect to us. So, I can just enter the URL. You can enter the home page of your website, right? So, it's completely up to you. Now, this is advanced push settings. You can let it be here uh, no need to make a changes here and just go and click on save now the next thing you have to do is for the web configuration whether you you are doing it for the application or for, for the website you just need to download sdk file of the one signal and as you can see here upload them to the top level root of your site directory so if you're not the core if you're not the developer of your site here you can see this is a zip file so you have to extract it up and then in, you have to upload this to the site directory right and if you haven't already so as you can see here ask your developer to copy this code and paste it on the top uh, of the you know on the pages of your site that your user can subscribe to for example make sure you just exactly copy this and paste it here this is how it's look and add your first user so once you have done each and everything automatically very efficiently very easily seamlessly it will get integrated with your website or the application and here just go and click on go to my website by the way we are redirected to the google because i added google website that's a reason but anyway i hope you understood each and everything from here now let's move to the next segment now let's for example uh, that you have sent your notification it's time to look at how they are performing one signal analytics are incredibly detailed and easy to understand right so let me just go to the dashboard first of all now from your dashboard you can see the key matrix so once you have done the setup right you can see here or uh, then you have to do the obviously i've shown you each and everything now once you do this automatically everything will be show up in your dashboard and then uh, this is a messages part so you can just go and customize your message and for example if you want to create a new push so just go to the new push here and you can choose the templates here there's a hell lot of not a lot, lot of but there are fine templates for example if you want for the ratings so you can just go and click on the preview 
and you can check out that how it's look right so here you can see this is how it will look on the mobile phone and let's say i just like this one so i will just go to here now same thing you have to go and click on review and send and once you have done the integration so you don't have to do it again because this time ultimately it will seamlessly it will get integrated and click on send messages so it will the message will send to all the people's all the contacts who have subscribed to your to your uh, application notifications or the website now this is just a rating i will close this up now here uh, this is in app push notification this is for the email this is for the sms this is for the templates i hope you understood for example i have gave you already the example how you can do the push and everything is same for example if i go to the sms here click on setup sms here right and uh, this is one signal and uh, they have the another application too but i will choose here one signal here click book demo with a sms expert because just to uh, send for the sms you need a subscription let's check out for the application so i will just go and click on setup application it's uh, android application here i will select here android okay i want to close this up okay from oh oh here we can close this now you have to just go and click on continue you have to integrate it because uh, the example which i gave you was for the website this is for the application so once you do this automatically you will be able to do this now this is the audience this is what i was talking about analyzing push notification i can just go and before this there's a journey we will come back to the journey no worries you can see here all the notification push which i did right now right and uh, the engagement and everything how many people saw it and how many to how many people the push notification gone to and what's the active notification which is going continuously and uh, with the consistency rate so i can just go and click a new segment here right and this is a user so all the user will automatically you can import here if you have integrated sdk then it will start showing up right so you can see here last seen five days ago and first seen a, a month ago right and session how many that same user came to your website or application you can check each and everything this is a subscription right so you can take a subscription here for example if somebody have subscribed to your email subscriber right newsletter subscriber <coughs> you can just check out from here right now this is a test subscriptions for example this is for your first time you can check the subscription right whether they are going to the email subscribers or not properly so you can check this up and this is an import you can import all the data you know customers and your uh, viewers and your audience your subscribers and everything now this is a journey so journey is really important because it combines challenge campaigns and messaging logics and our drag and drop visual builder so it just like uh, how you can just onboard into this you can combine every feature for example push email sms and in app in a single journey now let's explore some advanced features that will take you push notification game to the next level by the way before going to this this is a data integration we have already have shown you how you can do this right so i've explained you each and everything the last thing which i want to talk about that is a push notification game to the next level so first let's talk about the geo targeting with this feature you can send notification based on user location for instance you can send a notification to a user in a specific city when you are running a local promotion or event another powerful feature is a rich push notification this allow you to send notification with images button links and media content this makes your notification stand out more and encourage user to engage with them whether you are sending promotions news updates or reminders this rich notifications can and help you in a really significantly increase the engagement and user satisfaction so all right so we have covered the basics of one signal and i hope you are ready to start creating your own push notification campaign before we finish up here are few best practices for example personalize your message test and refine automate your campaign if you found this tutorial very helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell so you are always up to the date and our latest tips and tutorials got any questions about one signal drop them in a comment box and i will happy to help you thanks for watching subscribe